In this video I'm going to attempt to wire and mount a 3D touch probe to the Annette A8 and then fail and then decide to do the same thing with the TiVo Tarantula and well you'll just have to pretend this is television and you can't skip forward and you'll have to wait and see if it works which it did. So on screen now I'm printing the mounting arm for the 3D touch probe for the Annette on the Annette. This is a servo touch probe which is a clone of the BL touch and the method I'd like to use to level the bed before printing. I had a problem with the proximity sensor that came with the Annette A8, not being able to detect the aluminium bed through the combined thickness of the borosilicate glass and PEI plastic that I wanted to print on. It just couldn't get close enough. So I wired this as instructed on Odoat's Thingiverse page, which is where I also got the mounting arm STL file from. The wiring is a little tricky. First of all, you have to solder the two ground wires from the probe together as the available pin layer on the Annette controller leaves a little be desired. And more annoyingly, the orange control signal wire needs to be connected to a pin which also has a massive ribbon cable connecting the display panel to it. This is really annoying and can look messy depending how you do it. I think I wired everything correctly and it seemed to work as when the 3D printer powered up the probe did a short self check lifting and lowering of the detector arm a few times. I then made what I thought were the relevant changes to the firmware and uploaded those. But I was not getting the results I was expecting. None of the self checking lifting or lowering commands were working. While tinkering around with the firmware I managed to brick the controller which is a technical term similar to being immured. So I decided to put the original inductive probe back on the Annette and flash the controller with the factory reset firmware. That was pretty straightforward and it seems to work now. I did make a video about unbricking or rescuing the Annette controller and that video is available as a link in the information card. But I want to print on PEI plastic mounted on borosilicate glass. I want, I want, I want. Luckily the newer version of the controller on the TiVo Tarantula along with having two sets of terminals for extruders and their stepper motors also have a few pins conveniently named servos. I unwired the 3D touch probe, printed a new mount this time on the TiVo Tarantula and went about wiring it up. The mount is an official design provided by BL Touch and I will link to that in the description below. I'm still quite new to 3D printing and I have a lot more experience with CNC routing so I'm still printing with PLA but of course ABS would be a better material for this. So maybe in the future I'll reprint this. After resoldering the connections to the probe, fitting the new DuPont connectors at their ends and installing the probe on the newly printed mount, I then had to update the firmware. I downloaded this from Tiva Tarantula's Facebook community page. The file I'm using is called Marlin RC Bug Fix Feb 25 2017 BR Touch Small Bed Single Z Baby Step ZZW. Quite a mouthful. Again, I will link to that in the description as well. I then played around with the print bed settings and pro boundaries to line everything up. Although I could get the probe to do a bed levelling in a reasonable position, the Z homing seemed quite far forward. I solved this by moving the Y limit switch forward and reducing the travel limits after homing for that axis. While I enjoyed building the Annette A8 more than the TiVo Tarantula, its controller and firmware really let it down for me. So I've moved the TiVo Tarantula onto the turquoise table to my right hand side and the Annette A8 has been relegated to the corner of the workshop. But I am expecting a few more printers in the post, so it may not be there for long.